Hey guys. Okay, so you may or may not know that I have a bit of an obsession with Black Desert. And with the kind of recent videos of everyone doing videos on uh, Crimson Desert, which will be hopefully coming out this year, um, I just, like Pearl Abyss to me are doing something right. Um, with their games in terms of making games for everyone, if you if the the lineup of games that we're going to be seeing in the next couple of years, um, and I just actually wanted to go through each of the games that are coming out and just give my opinions on why I think Pearl Abyss are going to be so successful in the upcoming years in terms of games if they can obviously keep you know their player base which I think with the games they bring out is going to do and um, as they you know the diver diversity of games that they bring out okay so the Prolibus lineup as it stands is Black Desert Online, which uh, if you're watching this video, you, you're probably playing or want to play. Um, Black Desert Mobile. Um, I've done reviews on both of these games, so you can check those out. Um, Shadow Arena, and that finishes up the kind of Black Desert uh, trilogy if that makes sense. And then Plan 8, Doki V, which I now know how to pronounce. I thought it was like Dokev or Dok, Dok 5 or something, but Doki V, okay. That's a lot better. And then Crimson Desert. Okay, so I'm just going to... I have no planned script, so I'm going to try and keep this short and just go between each of the games. I've really got the pages open. Okay, so... Black Desert Online. So firstly, this, I guess, do you call it a franchise, I guess, is, I think, going to be very successful. It's obviously the the headline game for Pearl Abyss. Um, now, the reason that this game is so successful, it's not actually just for the, the, the gameplay and all that, because... If you've seen videos, if you've seen me play the game, the graphics are stunning. You you live in the game. It's you're not actually just like playing a game. You're not okay. Yes, there's a lot of combat thing, and I'm gonna get to that in another video. I want to start a new series on extended game reviews where I play, just record myself playing a game, kind of like streaming, but I'm I'm obviously gonna edit it a bit and upload it. Um, but like you you get so engrossed in the game in the 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 universe and the world and you know you you finish the the main um storyline and then you you got all the life skills that you're going to be doing you're going to uh fish you're going to gather you're going to build you're going to it's like you get engrossed in this economy and it's not even necessarily that it's like a competitive game. Okay, yes, there's there's a bit of competition to be the best. I think with all MMOs, there's there's that aspect, and especially RPGs where you live, and it's like it's it's on your own self to kind of go and improve your your character. And I mean, there's the family fame, so it makes you want to create more characters and. Uh, level them and play alternate characters and it's it's just such a good game for that um but the main reason i think that it's the black desert series is successful and when shadow arena comes out is going to be successful is because it caters to different consoles um okay sure there's nothing on the switch but if you look at something like dauntless okay dauntless you can play on pc you can play on xbox you can play on playstation you can play on the switch Okay, uh, Black Desert Pearl Abyss haven't released it on the Switch, but that's probably because they knew that they were going to release Black Desert Mobile, so there's a mobile version of the game, although the Switch would carry better graphics and that than a 
phone can, and it'll be closer to the original game, but I think it would be a lot harder on a Switch. No, it's pretty much a console, so probably not. Um, and to me, that makes success in the game. Okay, there's no link between the mobile and the 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 console and the PC versions, except for the, the story. Um, in a previous video, I stated that I didn't know where the, the mobile story was actually placed, and it's quite evident that it's actually placed at the same timeline. Um, the story you follow, like, you go to different regions in different orders, but you, you follow in the same story. And to me, that makes a game successful. So, okay, finish what I was saying. Um, there's no link, so um, there is not cross-platform, if that makes sense. So it's not like you, you link your your phone's account to your PC account to your console account. They're, they're kind of in their own separate realms. But even then, that kind of... If, if I had a console, which I don't, I have phone and PC, um, but if I had a console, I'd probably get Black Desert for the console and I'd probably start a new character. Although, like, you you got to get quite invested in your characters it, it, yeah I don't know character progression is quite long in this in this game anyway so firstly it's it's on multiple platforms secondly the graphics are stunning now I know the whole thing graphics don't make a good game but it doesn't damage your game to have good graphics I mean as humans we we judge things based on face value we we can't help but judge a book by its cover. So if you see a game with stunning graphics, you, you're going to try it. Okay, Black Desert has a price tag. That That is the difference. I mean, what? I think it's like $3.99 in America. It, it's 80 Rand in South Africa, just to put in that in those terms. And it's like the graphics are stunning. The The game keeps you immersed. I mean, it just I just keep on like wanting to do more things it's like so now i'm leveling my alts um and that's actually a question for you guys do you play like one main character or spread it between many characters and then actually what platform are you actually playing black desert on if you're watching this do you play console or do you play pc and which do you find better anyway um yeah, so you get so engrossed in the game and the story, and the story actually gets a lot better um, later on. Like, it, okay, a lot of the quests are, like, kill quests, and they're repetitive and talking and running around. But with the talking and running around, the autopath does actually help. Um, as much as it's like, oh, it takes away from the immersion in the game, but it does help if you need to run back and forth between people. It saves you from, you know, having to do it a bit. Um, and then the the story of the game is more than just actually the, the black spirit, you know, it's the war. I think whatever, because you can choose multiple quest paths, and that's another thing. You make the game your own game. Um, 19 classes. The character customization is amazing. Um, and skill the skill trees and all that, you can choose what you want to upgrade at what point your... Um, the, the skill add-ons, you can choose what you want to do, how you want to, what skills you want to add on special effects to, um, your your gear that you buy from either the, the, the shop or the, or you make or you, whatever, it, it's your customization. Um, kind of like in World of Warcraft with the transmogs and all that, but it's just got so much more because of more classes and it's just such a good game um and then yeah so whatever path you choose within the story it's it's basically this war um and it's actually quite interesting so okay so it's a war between Calpheon and Valencia and it's the Calpheons have they these black stones and the Calpheon calls it the black desert right and then the Valencians note as the Red Desert, which is quite interesting, because one of the later games that Pearl Abyss are bringing out is Crimson Desert. So, a link here? So, whether 
yeah, I, I don't know what the link is, but I just found that uh, I just read that now and found that quite interesting. Um, so yeah, graphics are stunning, multiple consoles, and it's not expensive to actually play the game. I don't think it's pay to win. As many people are like, oh, it's it's not really. Um, in terms of skills and gathering, yes, okay, there's an advantage to having the, 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 the clothing and the costumes and, and all that, because those give buffs and bonuses to that. But in terms of combat, there, there's no PvP differences. Okay, there might be a few, um, but it doesn't make a difference, because this game, if you can dodge, I mean, I would say that like a level 10 character can take out like a, a level 40 boss just by it'll okay sure it'll be a long gameplay but the fact is that i think a character like that could do it because you'll just keep on dodging you'll keep on using your abilities and it'll be just a slow draw out of the combat um okay so that that's kind of enough i think of black desert so you guys can watch um, if you go to the classes, you can watch other videos and, you know, check check out the website for yourself. I mean, it just, I actually just watched the, the Shy trailer. Um, and I, I, like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know about playing little kids in games, but it definitely made me want to play the game. So they're definitely doing things right in terms of their um, advertisement of, of their, their games. Okay, so the combat is amazing as well. Let me just add that on before I go to the next thing. Um, and then, okay, so why didn't it take me to the thing? Anyway, so we got the PC and console version, then we got the mobile version, which is free. Now, if you can take a game, so it just keeps you addicted to me, being able to play it on a phone as well, so wherever you are, you can play this game, and the character customization, if you watch my review, is amazing, the, the story follows the same story, and you know, what they've actually been able to do with the mobile version of the game is really, really good. Okay, so... Now, also, because it's an RPG, you, you get so immersed. But now, let's say that you're not one for RPGs, and you but you really like the combat and the graphics. Then, you've got Shadow Arena. So now, Shadow Arena, you play... These are actually... I'm pretty sure they're main characters. Heroine is like the, 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 the god killer that kills that one god. Or when you follow around through a lot of the story... Um, Okay, they don't have all the characters yet. Um, that's Jor Jordan. Whether he's going to be the Balmorn uh, corrupted Jordan, I don't know. But this is more of a combat style game, okay? So if you guys, you can watch Lazy Peon's play of it. I didn't get in for the beta, um, but that's fine. Um, but if you watch his video, it's like, it's actually a really cool concept. Before you, well, okay, I guess as you're fighting. So let's like take something like Fortnite and Darwin Project and put it into Black Desert terms. You go out, you grind mobs, you get gear, and then when you come across other players, you, you try and defeat the other players. And I actually really like that. Especially, you know, because everyone's on the same playing terms. Um, you can be better at the game by just experience, but no one will have better gear than the next player because you're all playing preset characters. And to me, this is just going to, like, okay, it, it loses a lot of the combos in that from Black Desert, but it's still... It's just a very different game, and I think it just does well in Pearl Abyss's lineup of Black Desert games, because then you also get to know the main characters a bit more. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay, then 
I think I'll just continue in this order. I should have saved Crimson Desert for last, but yeah. So Crimson Desert seems to be set in the same kind of realm as Black Desert, but not really. So, I mean, from the videos I've seen, it, it's, it's trying to be different. It's trying not to be a Black Desert part two, which is good. And I just think it's like people who couldn't get on the Black Desert hype because it's like so many people are so far ahead of them. When Crimson Desert comes out, it's like a new start. All the new players or people that, you know, don't play Black Desert as much have a new game to go to. Um, and if you've watched the trailer, it's actually really good. And it seems to have more of a single player story. Um, and you, you hire, what are they called? Mercenaries? I think, I think, I don't think they, yeah, mercenaries. So to me, it gets a bit of like a, uh, different vibe. So it's trying to be different. Um, and I just think the game's also going to do very well, especially with the stunning graphics and if they get the story right and they get the character customization, if it's the same as Black Desert, of course it's going to be amazing. And if it kind of adds more to the Black Desert story, a saga written in blood, now that that actually goes back to what I was saying. Oh, I'm not going to try and find that again. That, that goes back to what I was saying about... Valencia terming it different. So this is probably set pre Black Desert because of the the whole uh, red desert and the blood and so that that's quite cool in terms of keeping the story and keeping the universe together. Okay, now let's go back to the whole point about being sick of RPGs. So we have Plan Eight. Now Plan Eight is an MMO shooter, as, as you can see here, and so it's not like uh, Fallout in terms of a RPG shooter. I think it's more going to be along the lines, just by judging from the trailer, more of a I don't know PUBG and all those types of games, which is still pretty cool. Um, so then the Fortnite players have something new to play. And if they have character customizations, I mean, okay, it says exosuit, and there's, there's a few things where these guys put on gear. So if you can kind of build your characters like that, that that's also pretty cool. I mean, character customization, I think, is one of the main things people want in video games. You know, you don't, like, playing generic characters gets boring over time, and you want to be able to be immersed, and, you know, your character keeps you going. Black Desert, I mean... Okay, I've got one of each class, one of each of the classes, and it just it keeps me wanting to play more. It's like, okay, I, I need to put some time into this game. And that's what character customization does, and that's what good graphics do. Okay, sure. Um, no, like I, I was going to say about, like, okay, the graphics make the game inaccessible. But see, the thing is, it doesn't, because if you have a console, which people, okay, People with potato PCs, like poor PCs, they generally have a console or a phone that will be able to play this game. The Well, Black Desert in specific. So, I mean, a second still get onto the, the hype. Um, and I think that's, that's, like, really, really cool. Um, so then Plan 8's for a different type of player, so it's for the MMO. Now, that was another thing. I also think Bethesda do a very good job. So Skyrim is their fantasy RPG, and uh, Fallout is their uh, sci-fi RPG, which I think makes the game, the, the franchise, do really, really well. Okay, so that obviously helps. So that's... This kind of follows the same idea. So you've got a shooter game, and you've got, you got a sci-fi, post-apocalyptic, and a fantasy game. Then the last game, because Cassie has just walked in. Uh, yeah, the hands are... Yeah. Okay, uh, so the last game is Doki V. Okay, so with the recent success of... Okay, 
Pokemon has had success for forever, but with the recent success of Temtem that just came out on Steam, Doki V is, I think, also going to do well. I mean, Pokemon, we people have always wanted a Pokemon MMO game. No, it's Doki V. I know. I, I, I said that. I said that earlier. I was like, oh, I, I, you earlier. I, I, no, I was, I was like, I always thought it was Dokev or Dok Dok Five. I thought it might have been that way, but like, where's Dok One Two Four? But anyway, so Doki V. I don't know what this means. Um, but I, I think it's supposed to be like a Pokemon with with a with a little symbol. Oh, a little heart on it. Yeah, Instead but. But. Okay, um, so with the recent success of Temtem and Pokemon MMOs, um, I think Doki V will do very well. Now, obviously, if you if you guys watch the trailer, um, it's a bit different. Like you play, I don't know, they haven't really put gameplay trailers, so I will say that. So trailers, just like cinematic trailers, can be a bit misleading, but. I think this game, I mean, I want to play it. Like, okay, it seems a bit more childish than Crimson Desert Planet and Black Desert are, but, like, I mean, yeah. come on, Pokemon, yeah, but, like, is Pokemon really intended for kids? <laughs> like, I like, okay, I, I'm relatively old now, and I, I still want to, like, play Does Pokemon all old? over the show. Does that mean you're calling me old? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It is her birthday soon, so she will be getting old. But yeah. I'll still be younger than you. What are you talking about? Um. Yeah. So, okay. So basically, if you got a Pokemon game, you got a shooter game, you got a MMORPG, you got an MMORPG on mobile, you got, you know, a a kind of just pure combat MMO where you just play pre-made characters. Like, you, you've got a good formula. I mean, the only thing I would say is to make, like, a Fallout, you know, like a Fallout 76 type thing. Um, maybe with using Plan 8 as your model, and then make it further, give the game a bit of a story, and do, like, a Fallout thing. Okay, I know I'm, I'm pretty much telling Pearl of this to ripple Fallout, but I think that would close up the whole franchise. I mean, I can't see how they're going to make a wrong game in this. I mean, what other niche apart from maybe a action, uh, like like a Diablo-type top-down view, or maybe a lower graphic-requiring tab-target game, like on World of Warcraft level? That is, they, they've got a good formula. They've got a good list of games, and... Yeah, I'm just I'm I'm looking forward to most of these games. I would even be willing to buy them as I did Black Desert, um, but also I hope that they're free because that just makes the game more accessible to the public. And yeah, but then obviously with free games, you got the possibility that the game will come become pay to win. Okay, so that was a relatively long video, but like uh, I'm just really amped for what Pearl Abyss are doing. I mean I haven't had a like seen a publisher that I've been so impressed by in terms of like looking forward to what, what they're doing. Okay. Doesn't this thing make you think of Digimon? This is like a Digimon. You never watched Digimon as a kid. No, no you never watched Digimon. Because they're not really like a Pokedex, but it's like that that thing the the Digimon <laughs> Wow, that just destroyed Digimon for me. Um, um, yeah, I'm probably giving them some base anyway. Um, so I'm. <laughs> yes, yes, sure, sure. We'll we'll go with that one. So anyway, best just close up the video. Um, please go check out the trailers for these. I didn't want to play them in case I get hit, although I'm not being paid anything yet, so even if they demonetize me, but I don't want the video taken down, because I put effort into this video. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I'll get some more videos uploaded. 
I don't know how many of these like talking videos I'll do, but I will definitely work on it. See you guys next time. Cheers. Whoa.